619, let's get to your good news. This morning we are bringing you to a museum of sorts, but it is right in a Newport News backyard. So our goal is to have our pretty much our entire fence all the way around covered in just local, local and non-local artwork. As you can see, Amber Wyatt is well on her way. It's, it's been a fun experiment. It's been a fun, you know, adventure. Just seeing what everybody comes up with. Wyatt's artistic fence began when she and her husband found themselves with leftover lumber from building an actual fence. What better way to use them than to utilize it as an art project for everybody and anybody that wanted to. Wyatt started giving away the pieces to family and friends about seven months ago. There's so much frustration that's been going on. It's just kind of a time that you take and relax and just enjoy it. She's gotten submissions from three-year-olds all the way up to 84 and from around the country. A lot of them are, you know, something that's significant to them. She and her husband's, for example. Worn but not torn. Like I said, it's an American flag. He served for 21 years in the Navy. So my mother was a huge fan of butterflies. Wyatt's fence is still a work in progress, but so far she loves the results. I mean, for me, it's just great because there's so many different aspects. There's so many different viewpoints that you see. No painting is the same as the other. <laughs> Wyatt still has pieces of wood, so she'd love for more people to get involved. If you'd like to paint an addition to the fence, you can look for her contact information in this story on wavy.com. Don, Newport News resident, <laughs> artist I, I, at heart. I'd love to see it. I, I, I color on, in books, mandalas, mm -hmm. but maybe I could frame them and yes. then hang that way and make it waterproof too. Or you could venture out, do this painting, new canvas. That's fantastic. <laughs> what a great idea, too. Yes. And bringing smiles to people's faces.